Hello everyone. We have a 70 year, 71 year old elderly person, patient with inclusion body myositis. Well, he's bought after becoming less interactive. His BP is low, heart rate is 126. He has orthostatic vital signs. Dry mucosa that indicate dehydration, obviously. That could be the reason why his BP low. That is one possibility. Increase axillary perspiration. Well, this can contribute to dehydration. And if you look into lab parameters, sodium is definitely much more. Normal sodium is 135 to 145 milliequivalent per liter. But here it is 136, 165. Potassium bicarb chloride is again increased. Glucose is 90 milligram, but BUN is very much increased. Most appropriate next step in the management of this patient is answer is that you give IV 0.9% saline. Now, before I go and discuss, let me ask you what's the plasma osmolality of this patient? Write down the answer, just do the calculation. Well, plasma osmolality of this patient is how we calculate sodium plus potassium multiplied by 2, glucose in millimole per liter, PUN in millimole per liter. So one, so here 165 is the sugar, uh, is the sodium, potassium is 5 and we multiply by 2. Regarding glucose, it is 90 milligram percent. You divide by 18 and it comes out to be 5. Regarding BUN, it is 70, you divide by 2.8 and it comes out to be 25. So this is the, in this case, the plasma osmolality is 370. Normal is 280 to 300, okay? So we are getting hypernatremia, sodium is 165, this reflects a water deficit in relation to sodium. It occurs when there is increased hypotonic fluid loss and decreased access to free fluid. In this case, there is increased cease perspiration. And maybe that he is not having good access to free water. So they are especially likely to occur in patients who are debilitated or have altered level of consciousness and cannot access to free fluid. Now, this patient is suffering from inclusion body, body myositis. This involves adult onset, distal muscular weakness and atrophy. Well, before I proceed discussion, more about this question. In this question, there is something called orthostatic problem in this patient. Can you tell me what is the significance of this orthostatic BP or other it was their orthostatic vital sign? But I'm asking... The question is importance of orthostatic BP uh, in this patient. That means BP fall on standing is what the orthostatic hypotension is. Write down the answer. Answer is any condition which lead to reduce intravascular volume will have a orthostatic hypotension. In this patient, BP is systolic BP is 80. Okay, that means already dehydration, mucosa is dry. So he, that means the patient has reduced intravascular volume. And that's the reason why patient has orthostatic hypotension. Now, inclusion body myositis, they also have dysphagia. Now, in this vignette, patient medical condition disability has most likely resulted in poor water intake also. And remember, patient is losing from the sweating also. So that lead to hypovolemic hypernatremia that can lead to altered mental status changes, severe volume depletion. While in our cash vignette it is given, patients become less interactive, sodium is 165, we understood. Okay, well, little bit more about hypernatremia. Let me give you a day-to-day -day example. I have a glass. It has 100 ml of water and there is 100 milligram of sodium also. Concentration will be one milligram per ml. Now I boil the water. 
50 ml water evaporates okay the glass remain the same 50 ml water but sodium is still 100 mg the concentration goes to 2 mg per ml remember in both the glasses amount of sodium remain sodium chloride remain the same 100 mg but here concentration goes to 2 mg here the concentration is 1 mg so there is loss of water which is causing hypernatremia same here also so it is a hypovolemic hypernatremia which is causing altered sensorium now the initial treatment for severe hypovolemic hypernatremia is 0.3% isotonic saline well this gradually got correct the hyperosmolality while normalizing patient volume status isotonic saline is hypoosmolar in comparison to hypernatremia point to be noted this is a very very important point well our patient has we calculated osmolality as 370 a normal osmolality is uh, let's say 290 is 200 280 to 300 we let's say 280 so now 0.9% is isotonic to 290 but 0.9% is hypotonic to 370 this very important point to note be noted so once the volume deficit has been restored such patient now switch over to half uh, that is n by 2 saline in order to better replace the free water deficit the goal of sodium correction is not more than 1 milliequivalent per liter this again a very important point 1 milliequivalent per liter per hour it should be very slow it should not be it should not be fast the greater rate of correction may lead to cerebral edema with ex severe less severe hypovolemic the initial should be 5% dextrose with 0.4% 45 saline well let's look into option a oral water intake free oral water intake is a reasonable therapy for well functioning patient who have been free water depleted okay where patient should be conscious and and alert and they can take oral water free water will not store this patient problem volume because because patient already has dysphagia patient and more what is severe hyperosmolar is there so free water is not good for this patient 5% dextrose the treatment of option for patient with euvolemic or hypervolemic hypernatremia not for this patient 5% dextrose and 0.45% saline as i told you you initially start with 0.9% later on you can go to this for mild this is if you want to begin this for good for mild hypervolemic hypernatremia not for not for our patient iv free water is this if it is never given it can lead to rbc lysis due to osmosis okay so it is never a choice we never we, it it has to be free water to be given orally never and moreover if you have to use you have to use this 5% dextrose but never use plain water iv golden line to remember the most common cause of hypernatremia is hypovolemia mild cases can be treated with 5% dextrose with point Four five percent saline. Severe cases should be initially treated with point nine percent. Later on, we can switch over to. Later on, we can switch over to for five percent dextrose with point four five percent saline. Well, I hope you like the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart medicine. There are three hundred and fifty hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. it includes all super specialty and allied subject covering a to z including basic concept about every topic second we have tests and discussion there are more than 1000 question which with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need 2 hours but you need only 2 minute to forget what was written in that page 
then what is the solution? We have Medicine Simplified. It's a textbook of medicine, but so-called Mini Harrison. It's a summary of what you need to read from Harrison. The book is available in Amazon also. Now, these three things are more than enough for your MD, DNB Medicine and Family Medicine final exam preparation, need SS exam preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad, as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. Thank you very much.